So I was asked recently about indexing RDF data, and in particular, DBpedia data, that is uh, Wikipedia data reformatted um, as RDF uh, triples. And I thought I'd show a quick demonstration of, of how you can do that and link to a script that helps you to do this. So the raw data you can get from wikidbpedia.org downloads, and I think 2016, April is uh, the last, latest one that's available here. And if you scroll down, you can see all the various different data sets that uh, they make available. And the one that we're interested in uh, looking at today is page links and the TTL format. So there's a quick uh, preview here with the question mark. If you click on that, that will actually open up a little uh, taster of what this file looks like. So the RDF triples are basically lines uh, consisting of three columns. Uh, the left-hand column is um, a, a subject, in this case, accessible computing. Uh, the middle column is uh, always the same thing. It's just saying this is a link type relationship. And the right-hand side is the thing that it's linking out to. And what I have is a script that reads through uh, all, uh, it's about 175 million rows here. And for each subject uh, on the left-hand side, it creates a single uh, Elastic search document in this case anarcho capitalism and it will include all of the outbound links um, in a single document So the script to do that um, is available here. I've got a bit.ly URL here. So it's just bit.ly dbpedia 2 es and This will give you a Python script which you can run and it will index the data You just probably have to change this file name here to wherever you've downloaded the data to and it will just read the, the raw bzip file and then compress it on the fly. And it will give us a document which consists of uh, the subject and then an array of the linked categories and other outbound links to other subjects. And um, this Wikipedia article is talking about. So when we have a look at the raw data um, and load it up, um, I've loaded it into Elasticsearch and in the index pattern, um, I specified uh, some URL formatting on the uh, on the subject and the category fields so that we can just click on the hyperlinks straight out to Wikipedia. So this is an example of one of the, one of the documents and we can see that the raw JSON consists of an array of uh, Wikipedia subjects and categories and that's basically the raw data that we need to actually look at in graph. So let's flip around to the graph tool and have a quick, a quick poke around the data. Um, I've set this workspace up again with some sort of hyperlinks out to, uh, to the wiki, relevant Wikipedia page. It just substitutes in the subject into the, uh, the URL. And that's something that you can just configure in the drill down settings here. Um, you can just specify a simple kind of expression here to actually go and do a call out to Wikipedia for your given uh, selection. So let's start by uh, looking at um, Doug Cutting, who, uh, if you're familiar with Elasticsearch and Lucene, you'll know that Doug is the uh, original founder of the Lucene project. And what I want to do is just focus in on uh, how we are interpreting this, this RDF data in graph and how it is able to add extra value to looking at the raw RDF data. So, if you didn't have our significance ranking algorithms that are run by default, if you were looking at this data the same way that a typical graph database would look at the data, then as you explore the connections in the data, um, you start to pull in very spurious sort of connections or weak links. So the way um, it looks at the links is it would look at Doug Cutting and Lucene as a pair of subjects and it would say, well, yes, there are, in this case, five different documents that have put these two entities together in the same article. So Doug Cutting is, has been referenced in the context of Lucene five times, and Hadoop six times, and the Apache Software Foundation five times, and Nutch. Um, but he's also been uh, linked uh, four times with, with Google. And this is not a terribly significant link because uh, Google, as you can see from the, uh, the sizing of these two circles here, is a bit of a death star in um, the Wikipedia data. There's lots of things that get drawn into it. So 
that's the problem with um, exploring connected data like this is there there are many kind of super connectors so we can see that Doug is a very tiny speck on the side of Google uh, but as we walk further out into the data we in turn can see that Google is in fact a tiny little speck on the side of um, the United States so that's another one of these kind of super connected pieces of information in the uh, in the Wikipedia data set and that's the challenge um, with most sort of graph exploration is they tend to veer off into um, very strongly connected items um, unless you apply a sort of a brutal filter to getting rid of the super connectors. But even then, that's not proper relevance ranking. Let's have a look at proper relevance ranking. If I go back to our original start point, which was Doug, and I turn on our significance algorithm and then walk out the connections you'll see that um, with the significance algorithm turned on, it's picked up uh, Mike Caffarella here um, as significant. Um, in fact, if we use our little hyperlink to go out to the web page, we can see that Mike is a computer scientist and along with Doug, was one of the original co-founders of Hadoop and Nutch. Um, so that's obviously a sort of significant connection. But when you look at the raw stats, uh, Mike's only got four articles referencing him in Wikipedia, but three of them are in conjunction with Doug. So that's a very strong pairing between these two, and that's the basis of the statistics that have led us to pull out Mike rather than Google. So we have a strong set of candidates. Obviously, uh, Doug was involved with um, and created Lucene in the beginning. Um, and given these strong set of uh, starters, as we start to walk out the connections in the data, we're not straying off into things as broad as the United States and everything else. In fact, we're starting to see sort of the two sides of, uh, of Doug's work. Um, if you drill into this side here, um, you can see that there's a bunch of things which are connected around Lucene and information retrieval libraries. So actually one of the things we can throw in as an extra little addition uh, to these nodes is we'll actually see which categories are connected so we, we have a categories field as well, and if we throw that in, and sure enough, it pulls out search engine software as the thing that's strongly connected to all these topics here. Whereas over on this other side here um, of Doug's uh, connections, uh, we can see that this is talking about MapReduce and uh, Apache Hadoop. So these is uh, the other things that um, Doug sort of pioneered. Um, if we throw these categories in as well, let's add that in big table implementations and what else have we got uh, Hadoop so Doug was instrumental um, in, in Hadoop because he started off uh, life uh, developing Lucene as a search engine then he thought he would try and index the internet which is kind of a big project so he created a project called Nutch to help do that along with Mike so if we fill in some of the connections here um, we can actually probably start to draw out the fact that Mike is connected to Nutch as well um, so he created Nutch to create a web crawler, and as a result of that, he figured out that he needed to have a large storage system for the crawl, so he started breaking out separate pieces to do um, Hadoop and MapReduce jobs to calculate things like PageRank and so on. So we've seen that with the significance uh, function turned on, we're paying a lot more attention to um, the important links in the data rather than just the abundant or popular ones. Um, and that's really um, something that helps when you're exploring connected data like this. All connected data has these sort of super connected things like Google and the United States. And it makes much more sense to explore the data with these kind of significance algorithms turned on. So hopefully that's given you something uh, to play with um, and you can go away and explore Wikipedia data uh, and hopefully not go too far off topic.